This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the take for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Bo Crusher. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And a miss with the right hook. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. 
get the time in that kick. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. That shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Still nice body kick lands. Watch the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big kick lands. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to, to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, really nice work to keep Dizzy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Box. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's gonna be the finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Head kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Trying to establish that jab once again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He just misses there with the left. Head kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Round two next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent, 
will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Big kick lands. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Big punch lands. Ooh. Big leg kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Can't take many of those, you better check. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Switching stances here. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Able to check the high kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, perfect head kick there. Knee to the body. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. got to check these low leg kicks. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And he caught the kick. Beautiful kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, oh would oh. you look at this? An Imanari roll right into a heel hook. You don't see that every day. It's flashy, it's unorthodox, but proving to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Not tapping out tonight. Oh, right to the mound. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. Can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Final seconds here of round number two. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. 
Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching his fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Another leg kick land. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Kick lands. The right hand just misses. That was a thudding leg kick. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. That's how you defend the single leg. And they separate. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. They continue to exchange. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Single collar tie now. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Way to hide that leg kick. Great punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. And they separate. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Straight right is there. Leg kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. 20 seconds 
his left. Checks that leg kick. Ooh, big shot lands. His kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult... Oh! Oh! Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice, sneaky head kick. How good is that right hand? Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body kick. Looking to land the right, just out of range. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Effective punch there by Lee. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Lands with the right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Going to the body, now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And they set the Nice move with punch. Kick to the body by Lee. There it is. Take a shot now. Take a shot. There it is. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Nice leg kick land. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Big head kick lands. Just unable to quite find that range. How about that shin? Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Nice kick. Right on the button. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Right idea, wrong execution. No good on the left punch count. And now he's got that tie clinch. Huge knee land. Lee's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. 
Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such tough to even be on his feet right now. Back to the feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice elbow. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, what a punch. Nice leg kick. Back and forth we go. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He engages in the single collar tie. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Head strikes. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Stuff the takedown, no problem. What a body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Got the single collar tie. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Powerful leg kick land. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Tallest fighter lands a knee yet again. Nice punch lands over the top. Big leg kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. And they set. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. What a tricky head kick. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Kind of does. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. 
right hand upstairs. Real quick leg kick. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Plus right hand is true. Under a minute now to go in this one. Head kick lands. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Unable to connect with the right. Good stick. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Right idea, poor execution, the counter right, no good. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. What a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.